So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. The question that this is one of the most striking structures in all of sport, the Allianz Arena. Well, this is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive, it changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction, and hopefully the style of contest. There's the whistle. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Harry Kane. He's a deadly finisher, Peter, obviously, but he can contribute much more than that for his team. He's got the physical presence to hold the ball up and the awareness to bring pretty much everyone else into play. His best attributes, however, might be his, his enthusiasm, his energy and his desire to win because those things become infectious to others. I think the... It's Salah! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Trippier. Son Heung-min. Danny Rose is charging up on the overlap. That's it. He's there, and he can get that clear. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Trippier. No change to the score, nil-nil it remains. Now it's Son Heung-min, and it's Rose. Son Heung-min. That is terrific skill. So who's he picking out? That's a goal kick. Musa Sissoko. Rose. It's come loose. Firmino. Mohamed Salah. Zago continues his run. Hits it! such a great time to score a brilliant boost before you head in for half time and you can guarantee that dressing room will be buzzing now yeah, looking back at that that's how you play on the counter quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish i thought it was a stunning stunning breakaway So we have our breakthrough. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Dinks one in. Kane looks to play him in. That's uh, a minor communications breakdown. <laughs> There's the half-time whistle. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but it still had its moments.
and ultimately produced just one goal. More than decent game up to now. It's the first half compared with your expectation. A lead that's fully justified for me. They've shown some excellent counter-attacking now, so it's paying dividends. Liverpool hit for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. So we're just settling back into this second half. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Oh, good steal. He just read it. Alexander Arnold. Fine Aldum. Van Dyke. Fine Aldum. Van Dyke tries to locate someone up front. Rose. Tottenham get it back again. And here's Kane. Deftly done. That's what has to be done now. No question about it. Now, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Just has to be done. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Jordan Henderson. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, this lead is beginning to look a little delicate. I'd rather see them show the ambition and adventure to go further ahead. But it seems as if they settled for a, a riskier approach now to defend this. Winks. And it's played forward. Rose. Oh, they've seen lots of the ball. Time to go for it a bit, a bit of creativity and adventure. The breakthrough came in the final moments of the first period, and the score is 1-0. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Loose ball, who's going to get there? The ball's loose. Oh, real danger here! Defected behind for a corner kick. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Well, the referee's seen the board, and he's going to allow a double change to go ahead now. Looking for a decent ball in. Just brushed off the ball there. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. Forward it goes. The referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Liverpool hit it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1-0. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Well, to me, this is a result, Peter, that says an awful lot more than the scoreline suggests. You know, after the goal, the team just settled down and, and looked surprisingly comfortable and didn't really need to work too hard. So we've reached the end of our coverage for today. Many thanks to Jim Beglin alongside me. And we'll both see you next time.